Hey everyone, how's it going? So I have a EMF reader here and there's been articles over the years about electric vehicle emitting high amounts of EMF that could cause health problems, including um, being carcinogenic, causing cancer, damaging your cells, DNA, RNA. I'm not going to get into the specific of it. It's not my specialty, but essentially your day-to-day -day life should be exposed to no more than 10 mg milligrams. I believe that's what it stands for. Um, so with anything that has electric current flow, um, there will be some flow of EMF where the body is exposed to. For example, if you're using a laptop um, or a microwave, induction oven, uh, anything electronic, cell phone, when your cellular um, phone is being used to call somebody. So in a Tesla vehicle, you do have a large battery pack that is on the bottom of the vehicle. So you're basically sitting on this battery pack. So when it's off, there shouldn't be any current. Uh, but when it's on and you have power to your motor, front or rear, uh, or just rear, then we'll just see how much it is emitting. In a typical ICE gasoline vehicle, you don't have a big battery pack underneath. You just have the 12 volt battery in the engine bay. And that shouldn't be any concern because you're pretty much far away from it. So I have this meter on right now and we'll go ahead and open up this Tesla Model Y and just to see without the main battery pack on. So until I sit on the driver's seat, the main battery pack won't or it, it shouldn't uh, be active yet. So right now the ba main battery pack is not on. It's just a 12 volt battery powering up all the um, internal power switches and screen display, computer. Um, the autopilot computer should be on now. And from what I've seen, there is a good amount of EMF being emitted from the, the foot leg area here. So we'll check this out first. So nothing so far. So it's about four. So one to 10 is typically what you would get in, in an ICE vehicle. So we're getting between one and 10. So that's not too bad. But as we go deeper into where the actual computer so it's going up to 25 26 30 40 so you're definitely getting a lot of exposure here for your passenger foot um, but that shouldn't be too much of a concern because um, mostly your organ will be impacted by long exposure to emf but since it's in the leg foot area uh, I, I'm not too concerned about that, but still a lot of exposure there. So let's see the rear. So yeah, definitely the main battery pack is not active yet. I do have some strobe light here that is on. Nothing. Low power. Child seat. Nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and sit in the driver's seat. I'm gonna try and put it in drive as well. If it doesn't. So driver's seat without the, the main battery pack open is still zero. Nothing down here. Okay, I'm gonna sit in the seat now. So now the car should be activated once I enter the pin. All right, so now the main battery pack should be live. All right. Let's see. So while in park, nothing much here. Okay, so not much. EMF emitting, um, even with the, the battery pack. Yeah. And nothing. 
So what I'm going to try in the next video is um, take it for a highway drive just to see once the motor is uh, rolling with current and how much the cabin is getting uh, EMF emitted inside the cabin um, in the front and the rear seat, especially where the child seat is at. Um, what we're going to try next is, at least for now, just turn on the seat heater. So with the seat heater on, what are we getting here? So you're getting about five. It's still under 10, but you do, you do get some exposure with the seat heater on. Yeah, it's within 10, so seat heater should be safe. Let's try the steering wheel. Uh, let's see here. All right. Nothing. So, steering wheel heater is on. It's not emitting anything. Oh, something here. Nothing. All right. Let's turn that off. So, while you're parking, fairly safe. Um, what I'm going to try next, uh, while parking is actually charging the vehicle and whether you should sit in your car while you're charging or not i actually have to turn on the charger this is on the timer all right so it's charging right now Let's see here the charger itself is emitting. And this is just the wall connector, so the supercharger will probably. Wow. It's almost like a microwave. So you definitely don't want to be near a charger, at least for long duration while the car is charging. Check this out. This is the, the handle to the Tesla charger. Yeah, it's up there. 200. Okay, you don't want to be near, you don't want to be near a charger or a charging plug. And while you're charging inside the vehicle, That's normally where you sit. Doesn't look like it's emitting anything. Nothing on the floorboard. Steering wheel. Stay away from that wireless charger. Don't put your head near there. You get brain cancer. So overall, seems like it's safe while you're charging. We'll test this out as supercharger too in the next video. Um, I just wanna really just play around with this device and see how it goes. So, so far, seems pretty safe, at least for the driver. Unfortunately for the passenger, you might <coughs> be exposed to the autopilot uh, computer there with your legs. Nothing in the rear seat. Let me actually test the rear seat while it's charging. So there is some exposure there near the charger. Okay, so the rear seat is actually getting about 10 mg while you're charging. So it's probably not a good idea to sit in the car while you're charging. At least for the rear passenger. This, uh, this is where the charger is at on the left side, the port. So you're getting between 14, 15 for the rear left passenger. For the center passenger, getting about eight, nine. And then for the right passenger, 
two or three. So safest side to sit while you're charging is on the right side away from the charge port. Okay. And then driver seems to be the safer spot. So if you own a Tesla or you're guessing the Tesla, you probably want to be the driver or the rear passenger on the right side for the most part. Definitely don't want to be a passenger on the front seat. So shotgun might not be a best idea for Tesla. All right, well, hopefully you find this video helpful. Uh, stay healthy. This is just a trial and error. Comment below if you're an expert with EMF and how that exposure will impact someone's life. But from what I read, it could cause cancer, it could cause miscarriage, other health complication, and so forth. So thanks for watching. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe. We'll do a follow-up video at Supercharger and while we're driving.